Yo! What's up everyone and welcome back to another one. It is crazy windy out. It's spring turkey season. Look at that. We got the old spring fever shirt. Brand new turkey shirt. If you guys want this turkey shirt, I will link it in the description below. But I just want to let you guys know that this is the last snow goose hunt of the season. Extremely late season. So awesome to be up in North Dakota. I'm back home now. I just wanted to update you guys how these videos are going to roll. I've been hyping it up and letting you guys know that, hey guys, we got a banger banger North Dakota snow goose trip coming up and all the videos will be coming up headed your guys' way. Well, they're finally here and I think we're going to break them up into two to three videos and I hope you guys really enjoy these things. It was a muddy mess and the mud just added so much content that you guys are about to love, but yeah, it was interesting. But at the end, we shoot a buttload, and I mean two, over 200. We shot over 200, so be expecting the videos coming after this one. They're all exciting. I loved it. I want to go back right now. But if this tells you anything, I washed this before I left, and this is my white hoodie, and it is just completely obliterated. I mean, just dis disgusting, man. But I want to let you guys know, all of our white hoodies, all of our snow goose stuff, all of our white hats, anything white snow goose related, if you guys want to pick it up, you need to go do it now. It's going to be the last week or two of it, and then we're going to take it off for the season. It's you know, summertime's coming. We're, we're going to be coming out with a bunch of summer designs, a bunch of summer tees, tank tops, visors, if Brad gets his way, but but just a lot of summer stuff. So, if you guys want to pick up white gear, like my disgusting hoodie, I will link it in the description below. Go grab one. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into this vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in to this North Dakota trip. It was a blast. Met some great people. Shout out to Nathan, Hunter, Gage, the rest of the crew. Thank you guys. Let's get into it. Enjoy. I'm headed to North Dakota to go snow goose hunting. Now, yes, it's a gamble. It's extremely late in the season. A lot of you Midwesterns know how these cold fronts have really held up the snows. The migration north has been long. It's really been drug out because of the long, bitter cold up north. South Dakota has gotten rounds of snow. I think they just got like 14 to 18 inches actually. So we'll be driving through that. It is legitimately 10 hours away from my house where we're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I couldn't be doing it with a better crew. We got three other dudes going with us. We got Preston, Brad, and Noah. You guys have met them all three a ton in this last season's videos. And I'm telling you, it ought to just be about tripped. It ought to just be a blast. I mean, honestly, it should be the last two raw of the season. Grind out and go. But we are taking my truck. As some of you have noticed, I have got a new vehicle. I kind of had to. The old three-quarter ton Dodge Diesel that I did have, I loved it. It was my baby. It was. I love that truck. Tons of power. I do miss that. Gee, many Christmas. But the washboard roads were just beating that truck to death. And I've had to replace a lot of hard tranny lines on it. Alternators. Uh, terminals on batteries have actually gotten loose and melted which in turn blew up the battery melted all the wires had just a yeah, lot of money because of the rough riding three-quarter ton and washboard roads so new truck this is what we're taking it's gonna be nice she's gonna be comfy I've hooked up with a guy named Hunter from North Dakota and you guys will all meet him uh, later I actually haven't got to personally meet him just on the phone and through text but I wanted to open up the video right here, right now, to let you guys in on my packing, what I'm doing, what I'm taking with me, and why. What we got, we're taking an A-frame with us. I got it all rolled up real tight. And uh, we got two totes already packed in there. Now, I'm going to have to go through these and see how full they are. Because, yeah, we can pack some more into that one for sure. I was like, hey man, what can I bring to help out? He has 1,400 socks. He has some A-frame blinds but no full bodies. I have no way to take full bodies up there. I'm not gonna pull a trailer because it's 10 hours and that will add a ton of fuel. Cha cha ching, it's not gonna be an inexpensive trip. Let me tell you, four of us will go in on it together, but you know how it is. It takes money to do this stuff. 
Well, yep, the last time you seen me I was uh, throwing decoys in the bed of the truck and condensing totes. Well, we're in North Dakota and let me tell you, whoo, look at these birds. Yeah, right there. Yep. These boys are on them. These boys are on them. So this is my first time ever hunting in North Dakota and I'm not used to it because I mean legally you can hunt any field you want and I'm not used to that. I'm used to getting permission as you guys know but I got a good example right here in North Dakota if the field doesn't have this then uh, yeah that means I can't hunt that field but this one across the road which I have no idea who owns that I can hunt it and that's it's just hard to grasp so uh, hunter the guys that we're with man they've been scouting their butts off they're on them and uh, yeah, it's just a different dynamic, not having to get permission and you just roll up, you check and see if there's signs and if there's no signs, you go hunt it. But look at all the water. I mean, uh, there's just so much water up here. So it's fitting to be muddy. I'm extremely excited. Uh, 10 hours of driving. 10 hours is what we did today. I didn't pick up the camera because it was boring. I mean, driving north 10 hours, there was nothing fun about it. There's not much mountains or anything to film, so we're here and uh, a lot of birds. Well, Scouting was off to a great start. <laughs> and uh, I told you it was wet and there's a lot of water in the field. I wasn't lying. It's a bad deal right there. Yeah, we're actually sitting on the frame, I'm pretty sure. Got a little buck wild with it, and we are stuck bigger than you know what. Had a bad day, you take it one down, you say the sad song. You wanna, I would crank that. Go for it real slow. Well, yep, it's the next morning. We're all up and at him, except for Bradley. He's uh, he's struggling. Uh, yeah, it, it, we got up at 2. Our alarms went off at 2.20 a.m. We got laid down at roughly midnight, if that, that's at best, pretty much. And, um, yeah, it is 3.12 in the morning a group of guys that we've linked up with to hunt to hunt with here uh, they got a ton of full body snow goose decoys and we have about 2,000 wind socks and a ton of full bodies I'm saying like I don't know probably like 800 so 10 guys we got to get this up in roughly under three hours two and a half hours before the Sun comes up at 6 06 a.m. Oh man, I miss these mornings so bad. Well, here we are. We uh, got a lot of full bodies on deck. So we have about 800 full bodies. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and spilling over. Five seed sacks full of full bodies and uh, an extremely muddy, 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 muddy ground. Uh, as you guys know, getting wind socks in is no problem, but full bodies. Can be a challenge so here we are we got us a team of 10 two quads a trailer and that's how we're going to get them out yeah this is what we've been doing so the field was incredibly too muddy we found a different field a pasture field that we're going to go sit up in so we ended up pulling out of the field 
and this is why. We're in the car wash, and we are about, I don't know, halfway done. There's the clean bag. We ended up trailering uh, two seed sacks of decoys into the field that you guys just seen. Well, obviously we're not hunting. We got to where we were going to set up. It was so muddy that the quad completely covered all the full bodies. Got stuck. Don't know how many times. Yeah, so uh, we're at the car wash, washing full bodies. We are going to let um, the birds get up, and we have a small roost that we're going to hunt in a pasture. So we're going to go set up after uh, the birds get up off this little roost, and uh, once the sun's up, and once they're already off of it. So it gives us a little bit of time to get this done. It is a complete disaster. I mean, just a mess. Come, come look at our system we got going on here. Jeez. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's uh, what time is it? Six? Six thirty? <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're doing at six thirty in the morning. Uh, hope your day is going swell. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We are getting ready to head back out. Hopefully this second go this morning, we have a little better luck, so, yeah. But I'm not the same, man, and I could let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan, and I'm out here with the whoop. 700, 3 i 5s look alive, look alive.